You say, oh, Pastor Gary, I, I can't, I don't, all I see is this chaos. I mean, you, know, you talk about stopping the devil, but I mean, how do I change this picture on the inside of me? You got to put a new seed in there. And you got to keep it there. Because all by itself, you have a spirit. Your spirit is designed to incubate whatever you put in it. So you have to be careful what you put in your spirit. David said, I'll not put anything evil in front of my eyes. You have to choose to what are you going to allow the picture of to enter into your spirit? Because you're going to duplicate that. Your spirit is going to incubate that. It's going to get larger and eventually drag your life that direction. All right, so... If I want to change something, so you say, Pastor, I don't have a future. I mean, you talk about success, you talk about healing. What, how do I get what heaven says? Well, you got to take the seed, the word. Mark chapter 4 talks about that. You put that in your spirit. You keep it there. You meditate on it day and night. You keep it in front of you. You read it. You think about it. Keep it before your eyes. You've heard stories, you know, my daughter, when she had that 13-pound tumor, she had scriptures all over her mirror, all over her bedroom, you know, so that every time she opened her eyes in the night, first thing in the morning, she saw that picture. She saw that picture. When we were first uh, married back in Tulsa, Drenda was pregnant. She put scriptures all over the ceiling above our bed. So when she woke up, the first thing she saw was those promises. And she almost miscarried Tom. She woke up with bleeding and pain in the morning, and she glanced up and saw those scriptures. And she said, thank you, Jesus. He's going to live and not die. And she almost miscarried. But she made a practice of looking at that picture. So what you put in your spirit is going to be reproduced. You're going to, it's an incubation system. Your spirit incubates whatever you put in there. This is, the, this is not complicated. All the success books you read are tapping into this principle. Napoleon Hill, think and grow rich. It's all he, you take something, you think about it three times a day, you meditate on it, and it begins to move you towards success. This, is, this principle is all success books are all based on this principle on your spirit, how God designed you to function. You put a picture of God's word, the promise in your spirit, it begins, it carries a picture with it. So Isaac was born as a result of a promise. Your prosperity, your healing, you can name whatever it is, is going to be born in your life. You're going to produce it, incubate it in your spirit. That is the first part of it. You have to plant a seed. You've got to have a baby. You've got to get the seed into your spirit so it changes the picture. And here is the part that you must understand when you plant a garden, who picks what's planted? You do. What role does the dirt play? I mean, it holds the seed in place, provides nutrients, water, holds it in place for the sunlight, but the dirt has nothing to say of what's produced. 